Welcome to the Mindset Makeover. During this unique show, hosts Lisa Berry and Michelle Carter accompany you on a journey of mindful thinking, true feeling, and clearing mind chatter, all to align you with deep answers and multiple possibilities that help you move forward and live in the now. You become present, clear, and unstuck, and able to live fully led by your heart. Michelle and Lisa invite you to listen and feel this transformation through vibration of word, sound, and song. Open up to what's possible and experience a shift. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Mindset Makeover, What's Possible, the show that's about to shift you. I'm Lisa Berry. Hi, and I'm Michelle Carter. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I love starting the day off with such great greetings. <laughs> Yay. Oh, the buildup to today's show has been probably the most powerful, and I really want to say powerful because when it comes to shifts, whether it's little or big, power is what you need behind them. Mm-hmm. And um, when when I talk about the power, I thought, you know, Okay, so I'm I'm anxious. I'm like, oh, I want to get on the show and I want to help people because I need this. I'm like, I need this. And if I need this, I really know that it's going to come through to all of you. And when you think about, okay, a show that shifts you. Well, if you're sitting back and you're thinking, I do need a shift, but how do I even get there? Like, how does one even, how does one start a shift? Like, how do we just jump into something and go, yeah, I need this. How does, how does it happen? Oh, did I? No, hi, yeah, how does it happen? You were so excited to hear the answer. No, I was exactly, I was like, how does it happen? Please let me know. No, (laughs) I have ideas of how it happens, but I thought you (laughs) waited with bated breath. I guess that's the thing is is to suddenly know, okay, so you're sitting back, you think, you know what? If you can at least get to the point to realize and admit to say, I'm I'm unhappy, I'm challenged, I'm grumpy, (laughs) or Mm -hmm. even the scariest part, what I think is, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I'm going to do what everybody else does. And that's actually, to me, the most unhappy kind of thing. Well, if we can at least become aware of of what, and when I say what, I mean, what value or belief or promise to yourself or even like your pillar of truth has been injured, has been hurt, forgotten, damaged, or you become misaligned with. And when you can say, okay, there's something deeper inside of me and this is why I'm unhappy and this is why I'm grumpy or not living life or feeling lost because something that I've really believed in is not in alignment. And you know we love the alignment. So if you're, guess this is perfect. If you're not in alignment, you need to have a little shift to align. And I know that you know what we're going to talk about, but I want to share with everybody else. We have the most incredible show that we want to share with you because it's all on... <gasps> Forgiveness, which is yay, yay forgiveness. <laughs> we all need that. This, and it's I love what you were just saying just before the show about um share with them about what you were just saying just about the little bit. I'm just gonna leave it at that. You share what you were Oh the little things because sometimes like forgiveness is a big word. It's a heavy word. It's I, like, oh I have to forgive all these things <laughs> of my life, which is absolutely that's important to do, but sometimes it's little tiny things. And what we are going to talk about today, one of the things, and I have, you were supposed to say the word first, because I always say it badly, but anyway. <laughs> it is a funny word. Everybody ready? We're going to say it, and we'll say it. Let's say it. Up. Okay. Uh, ho. Pono, pono. Up, pono. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's ho upon a pono. Ho upon a pono. Actually, that's how Lisa and I, oddly enough, we met bonded over this. So it's a very simple um I've been saying it for years. It's a really, really simple little prayer that you just say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And when I was a teenager, again, I swear, every time my mom comes up and every single time, she's an amazing woman. So I my- love that she's on the show. She's always with us here. <laughs> it's just because when I was a teenager, you know, I grew up with all this stuff. When you're a teenager, you're a brat and all these things. And my mom would be like, use your tools and tapping and all that stuff. And I was like, I don't want to use my tools. I want to feel bad. Um, right. Which, you know, we can absolutely still do that as adults. So the whole point of this, she'd be... This was the one thing I could always do. I could do it silently. I could do it. And so anyway, I do it all the time for everything. And just like we were talking that forgiveness can be so big. But like last night, I swear I always have shows, things about the night before the show. But last <laughs> night, I had this like crazy out of nowhere heartburn. It was insane. I'm like, 
I'm going to do the prayer. And because I wasn't sleeping again and it, it went away. And I was like, who knows what that was about? It's not like I have to forgive my esophagus. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever I did, it, it always, for whatever reason, and I know there's a million modalities out, out there, this works for me. And so I understand. For- I want to share. You actually used Ho'oponopono to run through those four lines when you were experiencing heartburn. So this is not a, you know, a thing that people go, oh my God, I have heartburn. Let me do a forgiveness prayer. But th- yeah, that's right. So that's what you're saying you did. Oh, that's really cool. And I know it's, it sounds crazy, but it's because I tried everything else. I'm like, okay, well, I can do all these, you know, drink the baking soda, do this. And it came out of nowhere and it went away. And the thing is, because my, my mom, when I was a kid, we'd always, I'd always do this or as long as I can remember. And, um, it just, for some, whatever reason, I use it in situations that you absolutely would not think you'd be using it. But then I just notice a shift and it's so easy because you just say it in your head. It just doesn't, you can say it out loud, you can sing it, you can do whatever, but it's just easy. And for me, that's what I love. It's like, you don't have to like spin three times, then jump on one foot and then do all, like, it's not complicated and you, you can use anything. it for anything. We know what you're reminding me of, and this is coming out of nowhere, is when you sing a lullaby to a baby, you don't know why they're crying exactly. You don't know, anything, but you just sing something to them that's soothing. Maybe you're just, because you're letting them know that you're thinking, like all of a sudden, whether it's heartburn or you can't sleep or a baby crying, these are all physical symptoms. Like they're, they're out loud, they're present. But if we can just acknowledge them to say, wow, I, I care about you. I hear that you're saying something out loud and whether it's a lullaby and, oh, so funny that I say lullaby because we do have the hope upon, oh my gosh, see, I'm going to, I'm going to share with everybody. We used to call it <laughs> hope upon So to go from hope upon to ho upon upon is completely crazy. And that's not like we, like the people that's like me and Lisa, for right. some reason we both said it, we can't say it. So I just call it hope all the time. Like, oh, hope. We mm-hmm. love, yeah, so we do call it hope. So what I want to just um, gather this because Michelle and I get all excited and crazy because we love tools that shift. Mm-hmm. And with this with this forgiveness prayer, the reason why we've chosen it to help with that, we want the world to to know about this and experience it. We're going to dive really deep. And we, of course, we have music for you because we wouldn't have a show without music. <laughs> and what it is, is this, it is a Hawaiian forgiveness prayer. And it's just, as Michelle said, there are four lines, there are four statements, and we're going to dive deeper into each one of those statements but as as you said it's i'm sorry please forgive me i love you and thank you and those four lines you know what sometimes we can't say some of those lines we can't say i'm sorry or we can't say i love you <laughs> and there's some really big challenges so we'll, we'll we'll go into that and that's why we also very important michelle we'll tell you a story how we met but over the the whole ponopono but when you have music as we've talked about before sometimes when you can't say those words out loud or even in your head because you think you're lying or you don't believe them or it hurts to even to connect with yourself that way use the music to as a tool to help you with that shift to get you there because you will whether it's big or small heartburn or major damage that you've caused and you need forgiving Mm -hmm. for (laughs) And sometimes it's forgiving, you know, it's forgiving yourself, it's forgiving others, it's forgiving the world when there's all these painful things going on. Like, you can use it for anything. Right. And you know what? Oh, I love that you said that, the world, because sometimes we get so overwhelmed with, uh, even listening to the news, I get overwhelmed, Mm -hmm. so I don't, and then I go, I get, you know, I don't want to be in a position where I'm angry with the world, like, oh, you bad people doing that thing, because those actions are are terrible, but it's not going to help the world if I'm blaming them or separating myself from them. So if I can offer forgiveness and if I can find a way, and that's through compassion. And, oh, I have a story for later for compassion too. Goodness, we're going to squeeze so much into this. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the the whole ponopono, if I can just um, give a definition to it, what it does is it it offers a vibrational, I love that, it offers a vibrational language to make a shift that feels good. So if you're coming from, I'm unhappy, I'm challenged, I'm grumpy, I'm lost. Lost is so big to me. I know I said that already, but you know, when you wake up and you, you know, your alarm goes off at the same time every day, you know, you have to, you know, shower, shave, get ready, do your hair, makeup, whatever, get in the car, get your car, do all those things, but you don't know why anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's such a lost feeling. You're not very conscious. You're not very aware. And it starts hurting yourself because the creator inside you starts saying, am I not good enough? 
for you to stand up for me to be doing what you really want to do? Or am I not, um, am I not smart enough? Am I not, well, all, you know, you start questioning. And I think that's when, that's when the unhappy and the sad comes. And of course that's when, who knows, heartburn could hit. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Heartburn was not supposed to be a recurring <laughs> subject. <laughs> But it's so funny. <laughs> no, but you're so right. I mean, people feel lost is such a, I mean, that's a massive, massive topic as well, because you can feel, you know, lost in a crowded room. You can feel all, I think it works for everything. I mean, I'm in, obviously. Right. So compassion, connection, and connecting. Oh, here's a fun one. So the, it's the connecting to say, there's the one thing to say, look, look at me. Like, remember, oh, have you ever seen movies or yourself even been in the position where they, they just say, just look at me, see me for who I am. So whatever this, um, misalignment or this disconnect or discord is going on in your life. And it just wants to be looked at. It wants to be seen and heard and whatever language it is, really, how good does it feel to hear? I'm sorry. And please forgive me. Oh, and we will be talking about the difference between I'm sorry. And please forgive me. <laughs> The I want to ask you, um, when we come back, we're going to play uh, the, the latest, the newest Ho'oponopono song, because we do have a few of them. And right now, if everybody could really just inside, look inside, feel, feel where the vibration is, feel things where they are perhaps feeling like they would, they would love an apology from themselves about something or what they're really struggling with or what they're really hurt about or... Honestly, I just want you to really grab that feeling and that motion. You don't have to know it exactly, but even if you can feel it in your body, where it is, where it, maybe you have a sore elbow, you know, or you don't know, your big toe hurts, something. Um, and so when we do come back, we're going to run through those four lines. We're going to play the song first because I want everybody to be vibrationally aligned and ready for this. And Michelle, do you have something already picked, chosen that you would like to, to do your forgiveness shift for? Oh, uh I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you on the spot. <laughs> I know. Um, I'll okay. think about it during the break. <laughs> yes, you think about it during the break. I feel like I have a bazillion of them. So <laughs> who doesn't have shift? I'm shift addicted. <laughs> exactly. All righty. You're listening to OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. OM Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. OM Times co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hello, I'm Miriam Knight of New Consciousness Review, inviting you to my new show where I interview the rising stars of the conscious awakening. We'll explore the many faces of consciousness and action and intriguing perspectives on life, the universe, and everything in between. Join us each Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on the Rising Stars Show. Hi, this is Sylvia Henderson, Intuitive Life Coach and Energy Healer. Are you ready to elevate and rise way above your normal? Be sure to listen to my show, Intuitive Transformations, on Own Times Radio, Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern. Get the inspiration you need to transform your life. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of OM Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of OM Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. You're listening to OTR FM, part of the IOM Radio Network. All right. I know I was thinking about all the stuff that I want to shift about, and um, and Michelle had her homework to do so too. Yes. <laughs> and, what are yours? Don't put me in. So I want to know what yours are. Well, 
one thing I wanted to show, you know, a lot of times that, oh, because of course last night I was thinking about, there's just so many, but um, the one thing I really, this is um, a quick story before we hear the music because I want to warm up to it. I think today, because I've been doing the Ho'oponopono for years now, and I went through a period where I was doing it. I didn't know exactly what, I th I thought I knew what. But I didn't, I didn't fall in love in love with it. I just knew that it was important and that I, it really helped me. And then there was a time, and I always am so dramatic when I tell the story. It was a raining, thundery, stormy, lightning night, and I was crying and saying my whole pot <laughs> and, and it hit because I just kept repeating it and going deeper and deeper. But today, and I want to share this with everybody, today, and yet again, a new level hit with me, and that was... It's about compassion. I don't think I ever realized how much more, you know, when I think of the Ho'oponopono, it's about um, forgiveness, reconciliation. And I love that because it reconnects, it realigns. But today there was, oh my gosh, I love animals. I think we all love animals so much um, that there was this neighborhood. It's our street friendly dog. And he was in a lot of pain today. And he was out on the front lawn for his little morning. We'll call it a walk because he collapsed. And he didn't make it, and meaning when I say didn't make it, I he's alive. Um, didn't make it as in he wasn't making his walk. And do you know that all the people on the street? This is like early seven a.m. or something. And all the people on the street, all the neighbors came coming. They they were rushing over. Is is Benny okay? Is Benny okay? What's going on? Is everybody had so much care and concern and compassion? Like it was like there wasn't nothing. You know, and so if if sometimes when we have a hurt in ourselves, we can't connect with others. And I'll tell you that when you have compassion, it just, oh, sorry, when you connect and you can forgive yourself for so many things, it allows you to have compassion for yourself and the care that you would do and rush over to help an animal, you are allowing yourself. You can rush to yourself. What assistance do I need? You know, what support do I need? Because if you hold on to those angry things and no, no forgiveness, if you have no forgiveness, you, you can offer yourself compassion to move forward. And I think that's why it hit me so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, I love compassion. I love compassion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful way of saying it though. Like that's a, oh, poor little Benny. I'm glad I know. He's better it's though. Awesome. Because everybody, everybody is so there for him and he's going to go see the little doctor today and he's arthritis, I think. And, and he's, you know, everybody's going to take care of him and we're all going to connect and love and send energetic healing. <laughs> but would, could we, oh, Michelle, Michelle has just done, she was just really moved to create yet again, another amazing song for us. Really just intuitive. I think that you were feeling this, that we all needed it. So I, I love it for you to share that song. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it was on Friday. I just started playing it. I was just playing on the piano. I'm like, oh, I should record that. Because that's why right now I feel I feel pretty good because I've been listening to the prayer for... Yes. I've, I've easily probably listened uh, minimum 50 times in the last couple of days. <laughs> minimum. Probably 100. So I'm, I'm like, I feel good today. <laughs> I think you have listened to it 100 because I think I've listened to it 50 and I don't even have access to it all the time. I think maybe I've listened to it like 200. I don't know. It's been... But it's been very... Um, you? I, I just, yeah, I just, I really love this prayer. I feel so passionate about it. I, it's just so many. Anyway, so this is, this is our song, the latest one. The Ho Upon Upano. I just want to keep saying it so everybody can hear that. Ho Upon Upano. <laughs>
I love giving that silence after. <laughs> I was on my end. It was, it was a little bit distorted. So if anybody couldn't hear that, cause the beauty of it, I really want it to reach everybody. We're going to give you all the links after so you can, you can hear it and see it after. And, um, thank you, Michelle, for, for creating that and putting it together. Cause it's that simple. It's those four beautiful lines that you just sing so beautifully, angelically. <laughs> and I do want everybody to hear it. Like, so, so well, we um, have it, it will be up on our website. And then we also have a whole Pono Pono page. So you can specifically go to that page and the, we have multiple songs so you can listen to them there. And, yeah. um, it's on YouTube as well. So. Because when you, when you're saying the, when we do the whole Pono Pono, the, the, I'm sorry, let's even start there. Like I know, um, there's been incidents in my life and I'm thinking of a most recent one that was really, I was, oh my gosh, I was almost, you know what? I can't believe I'm going to say this. I was mad. I was actually mad. I was mad about something. You're allowed to be mad. You're ah! <laughs> okay. And, and that's even hard for me to say, but I was, I was angry. I was mad. And I thought, okay, whoa, this is a weird emotion for me. And, and I can't, I can't live like this. I can't live like this and this madness. So I sat myself down and I, I, I really needed the whole Pono Pono. And I said, I thought, well, what am I sorry for? And here's the difference. Step one is I'm sorry. Step two is please forgive me. And I want to make the distinguishing factor here. I'm sorry is for the result of how I, how you feel. Like, I was angry. I'm sorry that I'm angry. I'm sorry that I like the result, you know, that feeling the please forgive me is for what you've done kind of thing. Right. Like, so mm. I kind of, I wrote a list for a little bit of everybody. We do, um, well, I do the, the scripts for Hope Papano. That's because sometimes we can't find the words and you go through all these things. So if I were to go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for feeling judged. I'm sorry for being mean. I'm sorry for denying who I am. I'm sorry for holding on to these hurts and lies. I'm sorry for not believing in myself. I'm sorry for hurting myself. And here's the really, the really hard ones. I'm sorry for being selfish. I'm sorry for feeling entitled. And I'm sorry for feeling like a victim. Because those are really disempowering, right? And with, I mean, there's a bazillion, there's are so many I'm sorry's in situations. But when you go into the, please forgive me. Like these are, like, these are heavy, right? We're making some shifts here just by even saying, I'm sorry for being a victim. You're like, whoa, wow. I really took my power away. I'm, I'm in a victim thing. And of course, then we don't have possibilities and that's what this whole show is about. <laughs> but the, the please forgive me can go even deeper. This is where the, a lot of humbleness, like let's be humble. Let's really shed all ego and let's go there. Let's say, Please forgive me for holding on to self-limiting beliefs, right? Because that could keep you a victim. Mm, absolutely. Please forgive me for not being there lovingly for myself. Please forgive me for giving too much of me away. Oh, I want people to hear that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, really, please forgive myself, me, for, for giving too much away. Please forgive me for not respecting my boundaries. How many of us do that one? And forgive me for not honoring my core values. Forgive me for expecting too much and taking away my light. And forgive me for the pain that I've caused myself and others. And oh, I love more. forgive me for the lack of courage that, that t in the time of need. Like, I didn't, you know what I mean? Like, forgive me for just not reaching in and finding mm -hmm. that power that I have and that courage when I really, really need it for letting myself down kind of thing. So I want to stop at just those two lines for a second, because I know we have two more to go, because that really is the knock on the door when, you know, somebody slammed the door in your face. That's the pain. That's the hurt. The knock on the door is the story. And when you first get somebody opens it, and you're like, oh, I get to say something to somebody there. There's a little bit of a space here. And I can say this is what I'm asking for forgiveness for. And did you, oh, sorry, I was going to ask you, did you get to think of maybe something that you want to share that will... Well, it's, it's kind of an overall, I, again, I, I really do think it's because I've listened to it so much lately that yes. I can't think of a specific, cause I was like, Oh, so she, normally, well, normally every given day I have something that I would like <laughs> to, I don't deny that at all. And then, but then I don't know, today I woke up and I'm like, I, I, I really do think it's because I've been in like the swimming pool of Hope Upon a Lady. Oh, I love that. I have. I mean, it's been surrounding me. It's been everywhere. I've been singing it and playing it. And then the other thing, oh, this is cool though. Oh. This is kind of on a little bit of a side note that I was having like for a week and a half, like Pro Tools was act, Pro Tools is where I record um, the so music on okay, so and it was acting like full crazy. And I was like, okay, I'm going to love you because 
I need you, and we're going to love each other. Because at first, you know, I was like, eh, man, eh, eh, like all this stuff, all upset about technology. And I'm like, hey, I wouldn't have a job without technology. So I love you. <laughs> I love you. And, and then, um, so I was, do, anyway, the whole point, my computer got fixed because I was writing, having all these issues with recording this song. And I was recording it just on my regular keyboard, or I mean, I was playing it on the regular keyboard. And then I had to deal with Apple Care and all the stuff. I was on the phone with Apple Care and like, poof magic happened the guy didn't even know what happened I was like it's fixed it's fixed he goes I don't even know what we did because he really said he goes I don't know what we did I go I don't know and I go I think and I said this I was like I think the press fixed it I'm like I'm so happy I could kiss you and he was laughing he's like okay but I do think doing because there are so many issues with recording it I feel like doing the prayer around it it fixed my computer because Apple Care didn't even know what they did, you but it got fixed. They held the space for compassion and support. Uh, Apple Care support, <laughs> support. But the whole—it's just because I've been playing it so much, so much into the vibe in this room, and I really—I mean, that was huge to me. It sounds like not that big, but it's pretty big if, you're, if you if you can't do your work. Those are the things that we do deal with. That no, that's life. That's not like you're sitting back and going, "Oh, I gotta fix the world." This is mm-hmm. uh oh the stuff that's going on in my regular life is being affected. And yes, let's heartburn to software. You know, it sounds like my, pro- actually, this is kind of good. It sounds like my problems are all minuscule. So it's great. It's like, that shows that this works. Right. I've, had, I've had plenty of massive problems, but lately if these are the worst of my problems, I'm like, Oh, I have heartburn. I'm like, I'm doing okay. <laughs> well, now we've dealt with Michelle's insomnia, heartburn, <laughs> and daily career issues. <laughs> but the next two lines that we're going to work on when we come back um, really fill the space up. Just as you said, it, like you said, they fill, it fills the room. It fills up everything in your life. So let's co- go to a commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to fill up your life with some goodness. <laughs> This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Hello, I'm Miriam Knight of New Consciousness Review, inviting you to my new show where I interview the rising stars of the conscious awakening. We'll explore the many faces of consciousness and action and intriguing perspectives on life, the universe, and everything in between. Join us each Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on the Rising Stars Show. The name is Bond, James Bond. No, the name is Joe, The Joe Show. And we are returning back for our ninth season here on Old Times Radio. So tune in every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, on oldtimes.com slash mobile. You can take us wherever you go. Yeah! Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. This is OTRFM. Part of the IOM Radio Network. I come back and I was like, I want to listen to Miriam's show. I really like how magical it sounds. I know. There's a, I was yeah, like, and I'm like, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm being entertained. It's a great community here at OM. I just love this station. Like, every time I hear what they are doing with the world. I'm like, 
Oh, it's so good. It really it, is a beautiful painting. It, you know what? If I wasn't so um, just optimistic the way I am, I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing enough in my life. Look what they're doing. But I love that we're part of it. So we all <laughs> really appreciate it. We all appreciate all you listeners here because we know that you actually make us be able to do this and you're part of it and doing all the fancy stuff and snazzy stuff, just like the whole Ponoponos. <laughs> <laughs> all the fancy, snazzy world things. <laughs> I love the word snazzy. Oh, so as we start, so we've got our two words or two first lines. Um, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And remember when we first all started talking about why would you even do Ho'oponopono? And I mentioned, you know what, feeling stuck and feeling grumpy and feeling unhappy and lost or one things. So I've got the magic fuel from to being stuck to going fast, high speed change here. And that's love. Oh, love. Love, 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 love fuels the moment. That's why we have the love. Oh, do you have your Christmas? Hey, <gasps> you oh. are so psychic. I, right when you said that, I picked up. I ha- I wish you could see me. I wish ever- all the listeners could see me right now. I picked up the mallet to hit the love bowl. Oh my that God. was amazing. I'm so happy. Here. I'm going sh- to show so we can hear it. So if everybody, I don't know, well, I'll share with this, it's a crystal bowl. And um, that is, explain to everybody, because I need help. All I know is it's the love bowl. <laughs> so, it's the love bowl. It's tuned to um, F sharp. So it's, and it's, it's the love bowl. So it resonates with your heart chakra. And it really does. Like every time I play it, I ding it every morning. And um, my cats really love it too. They're like, oh, ah. but it just... <laughs> It just, it like, you really can, when you're in the presence of it, you just, you really feel it's like something expands in your heart and you don't have to believe in anything. You just feel it. And that's what I love about music so much. Music is not, you don't have to convince yourself of anything. You don't have to believe anything. It's just sound and music make you feel something. And that's just true. And so I just, I love it so much. And it's, it's like bowl. Um, many listeners probably know crystal bowls, but they're bowl, they're like beautiful bowls that are actually made out of quartz crystal. And they, they have a resonance the same as if you would put, put your finger around like a crystal glass with water in it. So it has, because everything, everything musical and everything in the universe is vibrational and the sound is made off vibration like Wait. every other instrument. <laughs> I love that you, I always, I always make a distinguishing factor between sound and music because sound, sometimes it doesn't even, it just, a, it's a fee, it's a feeling, it's a frequency. It's a, a thing you just hear in your ears and your body. So I love that you say that because a sound, like you don't have to be a musician to have a crystal bowl or to oh. ding on, you know, even the, the table there. Like I just did. It's, it's just a sound that makes you feel good or doesn't make you feel good. And so th- thank you for that. And I want, I'm so glad that you did think about doing the love bowl because when you get to the, I love you in Ho'oponopono, it can be tricky. Some people can't even, they can't get there because there's, there's still so much p- potentially some hurt going on or some disbelief or just lack of connection there. Like it's just not flowing, mm-hmm. but the, the, I love you. Re- love really does fuel the movement of everything. It, it yes. is such a powerful force. And when I, I kind of change, if you can't, maybe you can't say, I love you. I love me, you know, maybe you can't, but what you could say is I love feeling connected again. I love feeling aligned. I love feeling like I can create more possibilities. And then if you can't even get to the whole self thing, we can, we can break it up and go, I love my thoughts. Or I love my actions. I love my emotions. I love my beliefs. I want my favorite one. I love my soul. Oh, and also you can just love, like, just send love out there. Sometimes it's really, really hard, depending on where you yeah. are in your emotional state. And again, yeah. I know I have been there where it's really hard to say, yeah. I love you to yourself. Like you're just in that state, you know, it's hard, but if you just put out, sometimes it's like that fake it till you make it, you know, like an affirmation where you just, you're like, okay, I am going 
to believe this. So you just keep saying it and then it does start to stick. And, um, and just like, and love gets animal. easier and easier and easier. Like a lot of people find they can love an animal. They might not love themselves. But Absolutely. Love and that's why I, in a weird way, sometimes I think it's such a beautiful thing, a gift in a, in a way that even when Benny was so publicly, cause he's, you know, in the middle of the street here, um, having this issue because he gave the opportunity to those who maybe can't get to, I love you to love him and feel mm-hmm. and experience that regardless. You know what I mean? That's, mm-hmm what a gift Benny did by saying, I I need help, you know, love me. (laughs) And you're so right though. It is so easy to love. It's easier to love someone else often than love ourselves. I know in the past that I've been incredibly critical of myself and I have so much, I mean, it's also the beauty of as time goes and getting older and stuff. I just have so much more compassion for Mm. even past actions. And I don't, not so critical of like, "Eh, I wish I didn't do that. Or if I didn't do that. And then it's like, well, you know, you did. And it makes you who you are. And I just, I, it's like, I have so much more compassion for the person and seeing it more like that. You can, you can love those, those past parts of yourself. Like you can't, you don't change the past, but you can change your perspective on the past. And that's huge. If we consider the past being at the beginning, I said the, I'm sorry is for the result, right? So the past is the result. I'm sorry for judging myself. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like if you, we can, we can break it down like that to find out what would be the most ideal, you know, at the moment we're like, okay, I'm unhappy. Okay. So you you were thinking about being too hard on yourself. That's, that's a judgment, right? So the, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for judging myself. Please forgive me for being so hard and separating my, my connection from universe to myself. You know what I mean? Like we can, Mm -hmm. we can break it down like that. And then of course, cause I'm so excited to go into the final line um, of the Ho'oponopono, which is, Thank you. I like that one. I thank know. You. <laughs> we say that often. I mean, oh, you know, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Like there's, and then, oh, oh my goodness. This was the, the story to go into this one is I wanted to go and get a greeting card because thank you. There's so many greeting cards. I want to get a greeting card for every single one of those lines. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I, fa- okay. I think thank you is the number one greeting card made ever out there mm. at all. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah. There's so many, and there are a lot of I love you's, but I think I was looking around Valentine's day. So there was an exponential amount of I love you cards, mm. but the, the very few I'm sorry. Oh, struggle to find those. Oh, which leads me to tell and share with everybody because of that very experience. I said to Michelle, struggling and finding a greeting card. I have to have these. We're just going to make them because Michelle and I, whatever we can't find something, we just make it. And <laughs> True. And so we we called upon our friend Mike Solomon, who's this phenomenal artist, and said, oh, "We must make Ho'oponopono greeting cards for everybody." <laughs> so you can check them out on the site as well at four three two shift dot com. Um, we'll remind you about that later. But when it comes to the the thank you, what that is, everybody loves this word. It's gratitude. Mm-hmm. Gratitude, like gratitude, is a thank you. And there are so many things to be thankful for. Um, I love what you can say is thank you for the forgiveness and for the peace that comes with it. Like there's peace. That's, yeah, there is peace. It does. I, you know what? That's exactly what this does. It gives you, that's exactly what the whole prayer does. It just gives you that peace and it gives you and also a shift, but I never thought of it that way. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Well, you just kind of summed it up. I love that. We haven't even gone into it, but you know what? The two key words here are peace and shift. When you experience peace, that is the shift. The the best shift possibly in the world, I'm going to assume now, is peace. Mm -hmm. To be at peace, to feel peaceful, to feel alive. Oh, I love that. I love that too. (laughs) We're always like, oh, I love that. I like a love here. A lot of love, a lot of gratitude. Well, I want to share the the major things that I, when I think of, when I do my Ho'opono, see, (laughs) Ho'oponoponos, um, when I say about, thank you, I'll say something like, um, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Like I'm speaking to myself. Thank you, Lisa, for having the courage. Thank you for believing. Thank you for having faith. Thank you for finding support. That's, that was a big one for me. Mm. Thank you for honoring my own feelings. Oh, here's a big one. Thank you for listening. And thank you for being truthful. These are my deep ones. These are ones that I, you know, I remember one time I was, I thought I was having a gallbladder attack. I don't know. Maybe I was, but I, I just needed to be alone just to hear what was going on. Like what was the pain saying to me? And I even remember saying, I was going through the whole Ho'oponopono's and I said, thank you for stopping and just being aware and listening, like going through every body part 
and kind of going, is it you? Is it you? Do you need attention? Do you need love? Do you need forgiveness? What do you need? Oh, wow. That's really good. That's amazing. Do that when you're in pain. Wow. Well, yeah. Cause sometimes when you go, well, you, what's neat is not neat at all, but it's neat that I have this experience, but my mother suffered and was in pain all of my life. And so she really demonstrated, she was a great uh, leader and teacher to me of how to manage the pain or escape from the pain or deal with the pain. She did, and she did them all. Trust me, she did them all. <laughs> and whether, you know, we did a meditation or a visualization or she used music a lot. Actually, she used bagpipe music. She loved bagpipes. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Is, oh, question. Is there a lot of dissonant notes in, can I, is that a, is that a real question? I don't know if I'm making that up, but is there a lot of dissonant notes in, in bagpipes or? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you hear it all the time. It's like, yeah, you can hear the, cause it's almost like you hear that like rubbing. That's basically what dissonance is. It's like that, that rubbing sound. Like it actually sounds good though. Cause even in the crystal bowls, there's a, there can be a lot of dissonance too. And it's, I really do think in, in a sound way that there's something that goes in there and just moves stuff around, like yes. especially that dissonance. And, right. well, maybe that's and everybody has something different that speaks to them. And for bagpipes to speak to her, that's that's really cool, actually. Well, she used to say to me, when you're in pain, sometimes you're in so much pain that it feels good to find other things that are at that vibration and, and that pain level because it, it's almost like you can start to have compassion for them so you don't feel as bad. And wow. I, I didn't get that, of course, when I was little, but I started to get it. And now I'm getting it even more. So look at now your mom's on the show with us and my mom is now too. <laughs> We got our moms on our cute old moms. Well, when we do come back, I would love to share a couple things about the Ho'oponopono. Oh, my goodness. Um, really, really special stories that we want to share with, I want to share with the listeners, um, including my mom. This is a neat one. And you've got a couple, too. So let's let's do the commercials because I love them now. They're so much fun. And, um, and I will share that story in just a bit. You're listening to OTR-FM, part of the IOM Radio Network. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. This is Terry Van Horn, and I want to invite you to join me for my weekly radio show, Healing Light, on Ohm Times Radio, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Healing Light, we want to bring love, light, and blessings into your world. You can find out more about us at www.healinglightonline.com. Blessings. Do you want to be a better communicator? Do you want to better connect with the important people in your life? Do you want to enrich your relationships? If so, join me, Matthew Cooper, on the Positive Control System Show every Wednesday evening at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Ohm Times Radio. I'll meet you there. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. All right, I was so excited. I wanted to share the story since we we left talking about my mom and a few things there. I want to. Um, this is such a, a crazy thing. So. Michelle and I did meet over the whole Ho'oponopono. However, it started in the womb for me, mm -hmm. which is crazy. <laughs> I never put it, well, obviously I wouldn't have put it together. I didn't know about, about the forgiveness prayer. But um, so my mother did not know she was even pregnant with me for, for months. And in fact, she was having her gallbladder removed in, in surgery. And they said, oh, 
Miss Barry, you, you're pregnant. And of course, this was very scary for my mom to find this out. She was thinking, oh my goodness, look at all the things that she had her wisdom teeth uh, pulled, removed while she was pregnant. And that had, you know, all kinds of medication with it. And so on her final thing, she, she told me she was pregnant with me rather farther along actually. And she was pushed into, um, you know, just not pushed meanly, but like bumped into a counter and something hurt. And she thought, I'm going to name this baby Hope because I hope she's okay and she lives. And which I would, I would have been fine with that name too. That would have been great. But isn't that, isn't that so interesting that, you know, that, that is such this prayer, this forgiveness prayer called Ho'oponopono, which I did call Ho'oponopono for so long, is so in alignment with with not only the compassion and love and everything that my mother really truly wanted to forgive all those incidents that happened so that I would be in alignment and healthy. But that, I think that's just like the neatest thing to share with everybody that you never oh, know. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and you really wanted to be here, you little magical being. You're yes. like... I'm getting through there. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> oh, and you know what's really cool? I didn't even think about this. The story I shared just before was about my gallbladder. And that was... Crazy. I know. You said that. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I didn't even know. See, that's why we never know what the connections are in life and all these things that happen. Oh, is that the love bowl? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. My my headphones just landed on it and I think it wanted, it's like, I'm right here. <laughs> I love that. Do we have time? I like, if we can, um, I don't know if, it, if you're queued up or anything, I would love to be able to play, um, this song with our original hope on upon a song. Oh yes. That song, just to share with everybody has the music, but it also has me going through those four lines so that you can just hear them. And when you hear those four lines, just let it bubble through you. Let's find out where something is highlighted in your body or your mind or your heart or whatever emotions come up or, you know what I mean? Just experience it. And so if, if you are ready, I don't know Michelle if you're set. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Then listeners, please enjoy and find where you would like to make some space. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. holding on to these beliefs that do not serve me. Please forgive me for holding on to them for the past and for now. Please forgive me for believing them and allowing them to hurt me. I love you. I love all of me. I love all of my cells. I love my soul. I love my energy, and I love my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this life. Thank you for my energy and my choice. And thank you for the space that forgiveness is giving me to expand. forget it about that expand part at the end oh I love that one I haven't listened to it in a while I really like that one <laughs> well it's funny what we asked the listeners to really uh, find what space they needed to end to end to find out when you find that space you certainly do feel the expansion I, I feel expanded and 
and there's just more. And then we fill it up with love and gratitude. And, and also like what we were talking about before, there is, uh, there is absolute scripts for this, but like, I would want to say, cause you know, we're all so different how we approach stuff. Some of us want a ton of information and really want to get in there deep. And some of us just want, it's like, I need it simple. I need it simple now. Yeah. And like, because we all do diff- things differently. And I know personally, I don't necessarily always need to know what it's about. I just know right. I need a shift and I will just say the words. I don't even need to talk to it. And sometimes you want a deeper thing and there's a very specific thing that you want to work toward and you're like, you're going to go in deep and you're going to have that script. I, so I think both really work, but mm-hmm. sometimes you know you just need something and just those four sentences alone or statements just absolutely do something. And that, that's what works for me. I just, I, so I just think it's really um, wonderful that you can be just on the surface and then go really deep. But either way, you're going to get a really deep result. You know what I was just imagining? I love that you share that. I love the balance of it. And there's two very different ways because I think of how there may be one person who will want to, let's say they're going to go on the treadmill. Uh, They get on the treadmill, they're working out, but they don't want to know about how far they've gone, how fast they're going to put their music on or watch a show and then just do it. Let their body move while they're doing whatever they do because they don't need Mm -hmm. to know those things. And then there are others who like me, will count every step and every, (laughs) and that's us. Like, I think that it's actually good because we're a balance like that. Like I love going, I love to know there's times that I'll go super deep, but a lot of times I want it to be as quick and simple and easy just to be like, I want to change this because I know I have the tendency to get very analytical. So I love that. And there's so many different people out there. And this works for both those type of people, not both those. I mean, yes. all the different yeah, types of people. Different. Well, the really neat thing is there's actually courses. People can go on retreats, like for uh, just an, like a retreat, like an enjoyment process for even a day or two, a couple days. They do this in retreats, but they also do courses like what you're saying mm-hmm. on Ho'oponopono. And this is a worldwide known, it's like I said, a Hawaiian, Hawaiian forgiveness prayer. And you like you can use it from here, like from beginning to going deep. But the most important thing I think you and I were really wanting to share was the power of it in the ability to shift and feel good and have yes. peace. Yes. And when um, you, there's so many situations, so I would love. I was just thinking about this. You and I were were talking about this a little bit earlier, and I do I do feel like it's necessary. I would love. If you and I, Michelle, why don't we set an intention? Why don't we set a time this week coming up that you and I will specifically dedicate to doing Ho'oponopono and sharing that vibration and energy? Just be, you and I will do it. We can get online and do it. And then we'll hold the intention for the forgiveness for anybody and everybody who's listening, who wants to uh, write, like email us, let us know what space you would like to have, what shift you would like to have, what peace you would like to experience. We, you know, let it be small and big, we, anything that, you know, you, we're not going to announce everything. And then Michelle, you and I could just do a very special, you know, space holding, intention holding, forgiveness, whole upon upon session. And who knows, we might even write a song out of it. <laughs> oh, we can have a whole album. We were talking about that yesterday. I, I love this prayer. I I just, I love it. And I think it can be done, like we just said, in so many different ways and work on big and small issues. So if anybody wants to email us and so we can hold the attention, our, the email is the mindset makeover at Gmail. And you can also go to our website, 432 Shift. And we do have a whole page dedicated to Ho Oponopono. We have a new video as well that you can watch and see the art and be moved by Visually. The strong, powerful statements of, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Yes. And you know what? Okay, wait. Now I'm going to actually, I'm, I'm putting my demands and a request on the listeners. I'd like to, I'm going to set this this bar so low because we love the, le- the, the, letter, the letter eight. The letter eight. No, we have the letter eight. <laughs> we love the letter. number eight. So I want to have, I would... I'm asking all the listeners, we need eight. Michelle and I need, we need eight of the requests and let us know what you want to find the peace, the, um, the comfortability, the love, the, the freedom, the freedom from, from whatever this, we need eight of you to email us to let us know. And those ones, we're going to keep your name completely private, but we do want to share that category of, of, of life what people are dealing with. And I, that's what I want. I would like eight. Come on, everybody. We can hit those. Yes. yes. Can do eight. And again, it can be huge, global or tiny, like anything that you feel that you want to shift on and that we can hold the intention. And I think, you know, 
the more we all do this, the better the world's going to be. It really, and you know, every little thing, and you know what's funny is yesterday, it was a very, very windy day, and I was having a cup of tea, and I brought my mug outside and set it on a tray table, and the wind knocked the table over, and you know what? I saw that the cup was shattered everywhere, The first, and I did. I said, oh my gosh, Lisa, you should have known better not to put that out. It's windy. What were you thinking? Mm-hmm. And it, but it, what it was, you know what? I needed, I did hold Ponopono on this, because really what it was is I was sad that I broke the, the cup. I didn't have it anymore, and it meant I liked the cup. So you know what I did the whole upon I was like you know what this is I'm making more room I'm making space for what a new mug you know I'm gonna get a new teacup now <laughs> so so that's what I mean it's it really is like you said from from the smallest things to the biggest things and um I'm sorry can you show our, all of our wonderful email stuff and and posty stuff because I'm so bad at that and I love oh yes good. so our website is 432shift.com. On Instagram, we are 432shift. Twitter, 432shift. Facebook, dash 432shift. And um, if you would like to email us, you can go to our website, but you can also email us at themindsetmakeover at Gmail. And we would love to hear your requests for healing and Hopopono. And- we need eight. Eight of those. Eight. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Monday. You're listening to OTR.